Okay, now question 7. An ideal gas trapped in a cylinder with a frictionless movable piston is heated by supplying 100 joule of heat to it. It expands from a volume of 300 cm cube to 500 cm cube at a constant pressure of 1 exponent 5 Pascal. What is the net change in the internal energy of the gas? Okay, so the most important statement here is this. You must check what is constant first. What is constant? Tell me what is constant. Uh, the pressure is constant. And this is the most important thing you must check. Yeah, always. The pressure is constant. Uh, so uh, it constant at uh, 1 exponent 5 Pascal. What is the net change in internal energy? So he want to find delta u. I want to find delta u. So uh, I have heat supply. Here I have the heat supply. So that means uh, this is a Q positive because heat absorbed. Heat is absorbed, heat, heat is supplied into the gas. So Q positive and we have the Okay, this is the expansion. Expand. Expansion means work done positive. The volume increase. Eh? Expansion. Expand. Volume increase. Work done positive. Okay, work done is positive and expansion. Okay, we have a volume. This is the volume one and this is the volume two. Uh, okay, that's it. Okay, this is all the information. So now let us put it more systematically. So heat absorb, heat supply. So Q is positive. It's positive 100 Joule because heat is supplied or heat is absorbed. Heat is added into the gas. Yeah, heat is added because it's heated up. So that means the heat go into the gas. Heat supply. Yeah? So Q must be positive. Now next, he says expansion, yeah, volume increase, work done by gas. Uh, the gas do work yeah, by expansion, pushing up the piston. The gas, the gas push up the piston. Yeah, he put, the gas push up the piston, so the gas do work. Gas do work, so positive work done. That's the thing you must know before you attempt the question. All this wording, uh, it means something. And then, okay, I have the first volume and second volume. So I just put it down here. Uh, uh, categorize the information. Useful. So the first situation, we have the volume 1, 300 cm cube. And vo uh, volume 2 is 500 cm cube. Change to SI unit. So when, uh, like cm cube, you must change to meter cube. Uh, centi is negative 2. Yeah? Power negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So you already got the unit in meter cube. Yeah? Centi is negative 2. Negative 2 times 3, negative 6. And then the pressure is already Pascal. Okay, already Pascal. So already SI unit, no need to change. Yeah? Make sure everything is in SI. Yeah? Make sure everything is in SI unit. Now, uh, pressure constant. Yeah? Uh, constant pressure, this is an isobaric process because um, constant pressure, so that means isobaric process. That means uh, P1 equal to P2, P1 equal to P2, which is uh, 1 exponent 5 Pascal. Okay, uh, now what is the net change in internal energy? What is the delta U? So how to find? How to find delta U? So actually, we have two methods to do this. But one of the methods cannot be used because lack of information. Yeah, lack of information. Well, lack of what information? Let us check out. Let us check out the first method. Yeah, first method A. Okay, to find the change in internal energy, delta U, it is the traditional uh, fi uh, U final minus U initial. Uh, change of internal energy means U final minus U initial. Uh, this is the final minus the initial or u2 minus u1 okay u2 minus u1 u 
formula for U is F over 2 and RT. Okay, F over 2 and RT. Uh, F over 2 and RT, do we have the temperature? Do we have the temperature? No, we don't have the temperature, isn't it? Uh, but we can find, actually we can find the uh, temperature. Uh, do we have the temperature? No, we don't have the temperature. Do we have the number of mole? No, we don't have the number of mole also. So actually we cannot find the number of mole. We cannot find the number of mole. We also cannot find the temperature. We cannot find. But uh, PV equal to NRT. Uh, PV equal to NRT. So the NRT can be substituted by the NRT here can be substituted by PV. Uh, substituted by PV. So U equal to FO2 PV. So uh, for U2, uh, the U, I just use the formula FO2 PV. Uh, use the, no need to use NRT because I don't have the N, I don't have the T. So I straight away use PV. So just use FO2 PV for the U. So U2 will be P2 V2. Uh, P2 V2. U1 will be P1 V1. That's it. Very simple. Okay. And then uh, pressure is constant. So same pressure. P1 equal to P2. Yeah, isobaric. Uh, same pressure. So same pressure. That means uh, P1 equal to P2. I can just factor out. Factor out the common. The pressure can be factored out because they are equal. Factor out become P. Uh, and then FO2 also factor out. Uh, then left with V2 minus V1. Yeah, that's it. We only have V2 minus V1. Okay, so we already have pressure. We already have V2 and V1. However, we don't have the degree of freedom. We stuck here. We stuck here. We don't have the degree of freedom. Why? Because it didn't mention what type of gas. We mentioned is it monoatomic? Did he uh, give a kind of gas, maybe helium or hydrogen or oxygen, that indicates uh, the type of gas? Is whether is it monoatomic, diatomic, or polyatomic? Did he mention any of that type of gas? No, we cannot find the type of gas here, so we cannot know the degree of freedom. Yeah, there's no way of knowing the degree of freedom here. So this formula cannot be used. Uh, this formula cannot be used in this question. Uh, okay. So just put a cross there. Uh, so we cannot use this method. Okay. We cannot use this method. If the type of gas is being mentioned, monoatomic or diatomic or polyatomic, if the, the type of gas is being mentioned, uh, then we can use this formula. Because we from the type of gas, we can know the degree of freedom. Yeah, do you remember the magic word, the magic number three five six. Uh, three five six. Uh, three for monoatomic, five for diatomic, six for polyatomic. Uh, but it didn't mention type of gas here, so we cannot know the the value of F. So method A cannot be used, cannot be continued further. To find the delta u so the next method is method b we also can use the first law of thermo uh, first law of thermodynamic equation to find delta u uh, the delta u is also here the change in internal energy okay so uh, first of all uh, we do we have the q do we have the q yes he said that heated by supplying 100 joule of heat so we already have Q, yeah. Q is the energy supply, yeah. Positive, yeah. Q is positive because heat is supplied, yeah. Uh, not loss, yeah, but it's supply added. So we already have the Q. Uh, we want to find delta U. Do we have the work done? Yes. This is the isobaric process because it's a constant pressure. Constant pressure means uh, constant pressure means isobaric process. I mean, it is a horizontal line because it had uh, both point, initial and final point. They have the same pressure, same pressure, uh, one exponent five Pascal. Okay, same pressure. Uh, only the volume increase, uh, expansion. 
uh, yeah, from 300 to 500. So point one has volume one 300 cm cube. Uh, make sure you check the unit. Uh, uh, is it in SI unit or not in SI unit? You must check uh, cm cube or meter cube. Uh, so expand from 300 to 500 uh, cm cube. So one to one to two. Okay, so isobaric expansion. This is isobaric expansion. As you can see, it is a rectangular shape. At isobaric process, the area is a rectangular shape. So the formula is E times delta V. Uh, yeah, E times uh, P times delta V. Uh, P times delta V. P times delta V means uh, V two minus V one. Okay, W12 is V2 minus V1 or U, V final minus V initial. Okay, let us find out the, the work done first. Okay, shall we? Let us find out the work done first. Um, okay, pressure is... Um, uh, yeah, pressure is this one. Yeah, uh, pressure is a constant pressure. 1 exponent 5. Let us put in the 1 exponent 5 here, Pascal. And then volume 2. What is the volume 2? Uh, yeah. Need to change your SI unit. Yeah. Need to change your SI unit. Volume 2, volume 1. Need to change your SI unit. Uh, CM cube. So become 500 um, exponent negative 6 meter cube. Okay. Uh, this is in meter cube. Uh, yeah. V2 is here. And then V1 is 300 exponent negative 6 meter cube. Yeah. Uh, so it's um, minus 300 exponent uh, negative 6 meter cube. Uh, okay, so uh, what is the work done? So the work done I got is, um, yeah, I got positive uh, 20 joule work done. Okay, what does it mean by work done? Uh, a positive work done. Positive work done means uh, work uh, by gas. Uh, work done by gas. Uh, by gas. Who do the work? The gas do the work. How you do work? It expand. It expansion or push up the piston. And so the gas do work. When the gas do work, you put positive work done. Okay. Oh, he said he did say the expansion volume increase, isn't it? Uh, good. So now uh, we can do, we can find the, uh, the what? The net change in internal energy. So we, we, because we also got the work done already. Now the heat supply is positive 100 Joule. So just put positive 100. Uh, positive 100 Joule. And then delta U plus, plus the uh, work done is uh, positive 20 Joule. So what is the delta U here? So 100 minus 20, 100 minus 20, you get 80. Sorry, positive 80 Joule. So what does it mean by positive, positive delta U? Positive delta U means the internal energy increase and temperature also increase. Okay, so that's the, the, the delta U, uh, delta U. Then, uh, uh, why the internal energy increase? Why the internal energy increase? Because there is heat supplied. 100 Joule of heat is supplied to the gas and stored inside the gas. Yeah, 100 Joule of energy is supplied to store inside the gas. But why the in internal energy increase only 80? Because 20 Joule out of the 100 Joule is being used to do work. The gas used 20 Joule from the heat energy to do work. So that means only 80 Joule of energy uh, goes into the gas and stored in as a internal energy. Okay? Uh, so uh, delta U positive means internal energy increase, temperature increase. So that's the answer for delta U, the change in internal energy. When delta U is positive, means internal energy increase. Temperature also increase. Okay, so that's all for this question. Yeah, so uh, please stay tuned for the next videos.
Bye.